Hey friends, welcome to episode 17 of Principal Science. So excited today. I got something that maybe you knew and maybe you didn't, but it is super cool. We're going to check that out. Got another great story, vocabulary, and today in science, also going to introduce you to a really cool uh, scientist today. So enjoy episode 17 of Principal Science. Our scientist of the day is George Washington Carver, born in 1861 and he lived until 1943. George Washington Carver was an agricultural chemist, agronomist, and experimenter whose development of new products derived from peanuts, or ground nuts, sweet potatoes, and soybeans helped revolutionize the agricultural economy of the South. This is George Washington Carver, our scientist On of the day. On this day in 1991, the Space Shuttle Discovery was launched with a crew of seven to perform Star Wars defense research. On this day in 1991, the Space Shuttle Discovery was launched. Scientists say meteorology. This word describes the study of processes in the Earth's atmosphere. Meteorology includes the study of the weather, temperature, wind, storms, and more. People who work in this field are called meteorologists. Meteorologists may observe or research the weather. They may also forecast it based on data. A common place to see meteorologists is on the daily news where they give weather forecasts. Others study the atmosphere to learn what causes certain types of weather. Tommy can't stop. I really identify with this book because this is kind of how I was as a child and, well, kind of like I am today. Kind of. Tommy got a bop. He can't keep still. I'm a pogo stick, he boasts when he bounces. I'm a bulldozer. He clamors when he kicks. Tommy's got a pop. He can't keep quiet. I'm an elephant, he calls when he clumps. I'm an antelope. He hollers when he hurdles. He's an animal, his sister pouts to their parents. Tommy's got to stop. His family can't keep up. I'm over the elephant, his dad cries when he cleans. I'm tired of the antelope. His mom trumpets before time out. He belongs in a zoo. His sister bawls to her bestie. Everyone takes a turn, tiring Tommy out. Dad says softball, but pogo sticks bounce off the base. Mom says swim club. But though bulldozers don't work underwater. His sister says, tap class. It's worth a try, Tommy. Not putting on pink, his, he moans in the minivan. I'm not touching a tutu, he pleads in the parking lot. He's a doubting Thomas, his mom announces when they arrive. The tap teacher begins bouncing. Wait! She twirls like Tommy. You're a pogo stick, he whispers as he watches. I call this a hop. Everyone hops, but Tommy hops highest. The tap teacher kicks. Now Tommy starts to smile. You're a bulldozer, he stammers as he stares. I call this a brush. Everyone brushes, but Tommy brushes the boldest. The tap teacher clomps, and Tommy grin, growls. You're an elephant, he bellows as he boogies. I call this stamp, and don't call me an elephant. Everyone stamps, but Tommy stamps the strongest. The tap teacher hurdles. Tommy giggles with glee. You're an antelope, he declares as he dances. 
I call it a leap. Everyone leaps. But Tommy leaps longest. Tommy's got talent. You can't stop a star. He beams when he bows and glows and they gush. And he'll never have to tiptoe to be Tommy. Tommy can't stop. It's not for principal science, brain science. I'm flipping it up, changing it up here a little bit. Moving on from brain science, we're so focusing on mindset. Okay, mindset is a very important thing in our world. It's how you focus, how you think, how you approach things. So here's the thing, right? I don't want you to try to be better than someone else. I don't want you to try to be, say, I want to be like. I want you to be you. I want you to focus on you being better each and every day. You're not running a race against someone else. You're running a race against yourself. So I'm going to ask you this every day, at the end of the day, sit down and think, did I do something today to make myself better than I was when the day started? Am I smarter? Did I work harder? Did I learn something? Was I a better person? Did I help somebody? Did I make a difference in the world today? Think of those things. You don't have to do them all, but did you do something positive today to make yourself better than you were when the day started? That is what you need to do each and every day. Don't compare yourself to me. Don't compare yourself to a brother, sister, your parents. Compare yourself to you. So each and every day, I want you to be better than you were when you started today. That is your goal each and every day, and that is the mindset that I want you to have. You're not running a race against anyone else. You're running a race against yourself. All right, that is Principal Science Mindset. So I'm gonna introduce you to this here, our human sundial. Yeah, we have a human sundial on campus. I'm gonna demonstrate it, explain it a little bit, and show you how you can make your very own sundial. So enjoy, check this out. All right, friends. Yesterday, we talked about the orbit of the Earth and the rotation of the Earth. Now on our campus, we have a very unique feature. This is our human sundial. Now, our older kids, I'm pretty sure have seen this. Our younger kids, probably not, because they really don't come to this side of the playground. But our human sundial is pointed directly north. And this is set up so based on the time of day, the time of year, the angle of the sun, the rotation of the earth, and the orbit, your shadow will tell the time. And if I come out here and I stand in the middle of April, because it is the middle of April, and I show you where my shadow is, my shadow is showing just about 8.30. Now, if I show you my phone and the time, the time on my phone is showing a little after 8.30. So that's pretty cool. And so this is our human sundial, and I'm going to show you a little video on how you could make a sundial at home. So that's another cool feature on our STEM campus, a STEM feature on our STEM campus. That was super cool. Now I hope you're gonna check out our human sundial. And just you know, there's one at the U of A at the Flandro uh, Science Center. And so if you're over there and you wanna check that out, but I think ours is cooler. So hope you enjoyed, see you tomorrow. Ta-ta for now.